Hydrogen is not abundant on Earth, but it can be produced in a variety of different ways. Steam reforming currently accounts for 95% of the hydrogen produced in the USA. In this process, high temperature steam is used to separate hydrogen from carbon atoms in methane. Presently, this is the most cost effective way to produce hydrogen, yet it is problematic because it requires fossil fuels and emits greenhouse gases. In electrolysis, Electric current from various sources is passed through water to separate the water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen gases. This process is very expensive to perform and often takes more energy to induce the reaction than is produced. Photoelectrochemical production, or photoelectrolysis, uses sunlight to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. A semiconductor absorbs solar energy and acts like an electrode to separate the water molecules. Research is ongoing to make this process more efficient and to prevent semiconductors from corroding too quickly so that they can have useful service life. Another way to produce hydrogen is biomass gasification. In this process, natural materials such as plant matter are heated until gases including hydrogen are released. Coal gasification with carbon sequestration mixes coal, oxygen, and steam under high pressure and temperature to produce hydrogen and carbon monoxide. Impurities are removed and the carbon monoxide is treated again with steam and pressure to produce additional hydrogen and highly concentrated carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is then sequestered to prevent its release into the atmosphere. With regard to photobiological production, some types of algae and bacteria produce hydrogen using sunlight as their energy source to decompose water into hydrogen and oxygen in a series of complex chemical reactions. This project is funded by Montana EPSCOR.